campaign and tactics undertaken by Mr Abbott, who really has had uh, more positions on climate change than we've seen in the Kama Sutra. We've seen uh, he could really write the Kama Sutra of climate change. He's been a supporter of taking action on climate change, supporting an ETS when he was a Howard government minister, supporting that when he was a... Uh, Welcome to Capitol Hill. Governments usually try to avoid getting in the business of making guarantees, but the federal government's given one today that more than 50% of the compensation of, for money raised by the carbon price scheme will go to households. That's a point made by the climate change minister, Greg Combe, in a speech to the National Press Club today. I can assure you that under our carbon pricing mechanism, more than 50% of the carbon price revenue will be used to assist households. Millions of households will be better off under the carbon price. And the assistance will be permanent. But with no carbon price yet and no dollar figure put on the compensation amount, the opposition leader, Tony Abbott, simply doesn't believe the guarantee. The fact that uh, Greg Combe is essentially saying, trust us, trust us, um, is, uh, is, is a sign of the increasing political desperation uh, of a government which can't put any figures on its carbon tax. To discuss these developments today, I've been joined in Brisbane by Labor MP Shane Newman and in Sydney by Liberal MP Tony Smith. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having us, Lee. Good afternoon, Lyndall. Shane, Sorry, Tony. Shane Newman, does the guarantee given by both Julia Gillard and Greg Combe today make it easier for the government to fight the opposition, which has been talking at length about the price rises under the carbon tax scheme? I think, Lyndall, it rebuts many of the scare campaign and tactics undertaken by Mr Abbott, who really has had uh, more positions on climate change than we've seen in the Kama Sutra. We've seen uh, he could really write the Kama Sutra of climate change. He's been a supporter of taking action on climate change, supporting an ETS when he was a Howard government minister, supporting that when he was a shadow minister with Tony uh, Malcolm Turnbull, and now we've seen him uh, opposing. I think this statement today by Greg Combe will go a long way to rebut the myths and misinformation that the coalition's running with respect to transitioning our economy to a clean energy economy. Tony Smith, uh, the opposition has been saying for a long time that prices would go up, but does the fact that the government is going to overcompensate low to middle income earners ease some of those fears? Well, you can't believe a word the government says. I mean, we've just had Shane telling us how important it is to have a carbon tax, which he promised to his electors before the last election, Labor would never have. Uh, after promising they would never have a carbon tax, they now expect the public to believe that they'll be compensated for the carbon tax they'll promise they'd never get. Now, look, there's one thing you can be certain of, Lyndall. Uh, under Julia Gillard uh, and the Labor Party, uh, whenever your alarm clock goes off every morning, you'll be paying a carbon tax. Uh, as for the compensation, uh, you can't believe a word Labor says. I mean, Greg Hunts rightly made the point today, just a month ago, they were promising 100% compensation. Now it's 50. It's just another day, another promise, and tomorrow we'll, be, we'll follow this with a broken promise. That's the Labor way, and that's what we've seen since six days before the last election and one day before the last election when Julia Gillard pledged there would not be a carbon tax under the government she leads. But the government only a, a couple of times mentioned the 100% compensation to households. Mostly it said it would go to households, business and industry. If you believe that the government said it would originally give 100% compensation, doesn't that mean this has been a win for business? No, I started by saying I don't believe a word the government says and the Australian public don't believe a word the government says. They promised no carbon tax. Now they're promising they will bring in a carbon tax. Uh, that's the only thing the public know will happen. They know their electricity will go up, their petrol will go up. Uh, as for compensation, uh, they've said one thing one day, as I pointed out, another thing another day. And what we know with Labor is, uh, you know, promises on compensation uh, just simply can't be believed. Shane... Uh, even at its most basic budgeting level, Lyndall, if you cut through all of the arguments from the Minister today, what we know is Labor spends money in an out-of-control way. They waste money in an out-of-control way. I mean, promises uh, that the, the Minister made today, Labor can't keep. 
and that's before you even get to their, their motives, where we know that they'll say anything uh, to get elected and they'll say anything one day and they'll change it in the future. Shane Newman, isn't Great. that the heart of the Jess political... Nonsense. Isn't it the heart of the political problem for the government, though, that whatever you promise at the start is a carbon tax you promised you wouldn't have? Well, this is nonsense what Tony had to say in relation to that. We've made $83.6 billion in savings since the last... since that we've been elected in 2007. And the tax-to-GDP ratio is much lower than when Mr Abbott uh, sat in the uh, Cabinet. You promised of, you wouldn't of, have a carbon the, tax. And so when it, comes to, when it comes to this issue, we've had Tony, who was quite happy to be a member of the, uh, of the Howard government and to sit in the shadow, shadow ministry under Malcolm Turnbull, advocating that we would take action on climate change and now taking the attitude that we do nothing, just tax the Australian uh, public, transfer money from the... Uh, consumers to the polluters, whereas we're going to tax the polluters and compensate the consumers. We, we're, we've said that we're always going to assist uh, jobs in uh, high emitting industries. We've made the point that we want to take action on climate change. You just can't believe the coalition. If you would have, if you believe the coalition, the sun won't rise tomorrow, women won't have babies, and all the scare campaigns and a lot in the past are, are just happening now. The coalition always campaigns on fear, always campaigns on myths, myths information and scaremongering. Well, what, what we're trying to do, what we're, tra what we're trying to do, what we, what we've always said we were going to try and do is take action on climate change. The coalition opposed our ETS a number of times last time. You can't really believe them. All I want to put on is a thirty billion dollar tax on the Australian public, seven hundred and twenty dollars per annum on each and every household. That's the coalition's supposed oh, on, direct Shane. action on, on climate change. Simply nonsense. Tony you make it Smith. sound as if you promised a carbon tax. I mean, if you think a carbon tax is such a good idea, why don't you run to the next election and seek a mandate for it? Tony Smith, I asked this question of Greg Hunt a couple of times and he wouldn't, he wouldn't uh, say yes, but isn't it, couldn't you, as the opposition, when the government legislates the compensation, actually make sure, because the government's in a minority, that the compensation is there as the government has promised? Well, look, the point is, uh, if you don't have a carbon tax, you don't need the compensation. Uh, but Greg's you could hold the government point, to so account, couldn't you, through the legislative process? Well, we're holding them to well, account by opposing the carbon tax that they promised they wouldn't have. I mean, every Labor member promised they would not have a carbon tax. Shane promised his electors that there would not be a carbon tax if they voted for him. They voted for him and he is going to vote for a carbon tax in the federal parliament. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do, Tony. I'm going to take the, action the, on climate change. That's what I'm going to do. You are going to do the opposite of what you promised you'd do. Now, there's no argument I, I, about the need to take action on climate change. Tony Abbott's made this point repeatedly. I've made it each time I've been on this program. Uh, we've got a direct action plan, and we think that's a better way. Now, if you thought, if you thought the carbon tax was such a great idea, uh, you would have put it forward before the last election. The reason you didn't put it forward before the last election is you knew that the Australian public would not support you. Uh, now, in your electorate, you promised there'd be no carbon tax. If you think it's such a good idea, why don't you seek a mandate for that carbon tax at the next election? Shane Newman, well, is it... had every, every, every different position possible with respect to taking action on climate change. He knows very well that if they are in power, they would rip away the compensation that we would provide where the carbon pricing scheme comes in. He knows very well that any tax cuts, well, any payments to pensions would be, would be ripped tax. away. Well, he knows that that's what will happen. And the reality is that he won't... His scheme will not make any impact, any significant impact with respect to climate change. And he has sat there repeatedly in the Parliament voting and saying one thing and doing another back in his electorate. Shane that, Newman... Now, I've been criticised in relation to that, but that's the, that's the reality. And the reality well, is we need to take action on climate change. The Coalition's position is to do nothing with respect to, to the climate change. He imposed a large tax on the Australian public and cost households more without compensation. And that's the difference. We will take action on climate change, tax the polluters and compensate the, compensate the constituents they will tax the constituents to pay money to the polluters. Shane Newman, How doesn't, is that doesn't logical that... with respect to climate change action? But doesn't that just show that you can't give a uh, firm guarantee into the future that the compensation will, will last because anything that's legislated can be unlegislated? Well, Minister Conway made it very clear today that the compensation will be permanent, 
it will be ongoing and we will provide that. Now, the Coalition's position, and it's, they bell the cat, Mr Hockey bell the cat some weeks ago. The situation is, once carbon pricing's in this country, we've provided compensation for pensions, middle and low income earners, what will happen? The Coalition will rip that away from the, those people and that's yeah, the difference. Okay. Labor Look. taking action on climate change and the Coalition ripping money out of, the, out of the hands of pensioners and the householders that are doing it tough every day. We know that that's the case and that's Come why on. we took... We've just cost, cost of living issues are a problem. That's why we put tax cuts in the last three budgets and that's why we gave the biggest pension rise in the history of this country. Tony Abbott... Sorry, Tony Smith, it would be a brave government, wouldn't it, that would take away... I've got, I'm blind and I've got a bit more hair, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a brave government, though, wouldn't it, be to take away tax cuts and, and pension rises? Well, look, I mean, Greg Combo's promising this today and he's making a promise you know, for the rest of our future as a country. But it's the same promise... Uh, I mean, it should be judged on the same basis as the promise six days before the election and one day before the election. Now, Shane's... You know, he, he might want to misrepresent Joe Hockey. Look, the public are very clear on this. Labor will have a carbon tax. Uh, we won't have a carbon tax. Uh, if but Labor if it means carbon... taking away... If it means eventually taking away tax cuts and pension rises, that's politically Look, difficult, isn't it? We're, 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 we're going to take away the carbon tax. We're going to take away, the, you know, the, the reason uh, why you'd need that in the first place. And the compensation now, accordingly. Joe, Joe accordingly. Hockey's admit, it, clear. admit it, Tony. Greg, well, look, Greg, Greg Hunt and Joe Hockey have, have made our position very clear. But this, this sort of latest uh, situation today, you've got Shane here, you've had Greg Combo at the press club. What they're saying is, hand on our heart, you have to believe us this time. Uh, the day before the election, they had their hand on their heart. There is not a promise this government won't make that, they'll, that they won't break. I mean, that is what the Australian public are angry about. Shane knows it. I mean, I'd like to know what he says to electors in his seat in Queensland, where he promised them there would be no carbon tax, and now he's going to vote for one. And under Labor, you'll have that carbon tax. Promises from Greg Combe amount to nothing. They change under this government in a matter of days. And as I said earlier, this government can't manage money. Uh, they'll keep the tax rolling in for sure. But the Australian public, they've now had three years of experience uh, with this government and they've seen them waste money and they've seen the consequences of that. Shane... And no amount of, of bluff and bluster from Shane is going to escape from that fact. Shane, would it be I'll easier, you, as a bet, would it be easier Shane, to argue the case in the public if you had the price, if you had the dollar value of the compensation, and would you like to see those delivered quickly? Well, Minister Combe has made that point today that we'll be legislating later this year. We are, this are, these Not are complex, the difficult Not issues. The the, this, he made the point in the third quarter this year he'll be doing that. Now, we are act, taking action on climate change. I'll tell you what I'm proud to do, and that is going to Parliament to take action on climate change. That's what he did last that, Parliament. That's, and Tony opposed that. We, this, this Parliament will be taking action on climate change, and Tony will be opposing it. That's Shane. the difference between us and them. Action on our part, inaction on their part, ripping away compensation and money out of pensioners and middle income and low income. That's what they'll do. Shane Newman and Tony Smith, that's where we'll have to leave it today. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Shane. And thank you for joining us on Capitol Hill.